What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at all the gestures for your iPad Pro. We'll be doing this on the 11 inch iPad Pro, but these gestures should work for other versions of the iPad as well. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So to start things off, we'll see how to access the home screen from your lock screen. Of course, you can hit the power button at the top of the iPad Pro to access your lock screen. From here, you want to swipe up and if you have Face ID enabled, you can position the iPad so that it can see your face to unlock your device. Alternatively, if you swipe up here, you'll also be prompted for your passcode. Once you enter your passcode in, you'll take into the home screen. Here there's a few controls and swipe gestures that allow you to access the many options on your iPad. Swipe down from the right of the iPad screen to access control center and swipe down from the left to access your notifications. If you want to go to multitasking and view your app tabs, what you want to do is swipe up and then hold and then you'll be treated with all your open apps here you can swipe left or right to choose between the apps you can also swipe up on each of the individual apps to close the apps down and you'll note that you can actually close more than one app at one time by using multiple fingers so let's open up an app here so once we have safari loaded up here as you can see if you want to access your dock what you do is you want to swipe up from the bottom of the screen here you can quickly access all of the apps that are available in your dock. If you long press on an app in your dock, you'll notice that some of the options and quick access features of that app are available. If you continue long pressing on a given app, the apps will start jiggling. From here, you can rearrange which apps are in your dock. And also if you're at a home screen, you can rearrange the individual apps as well. While we're in Safari here, we'll go over some of the navigation features that you have available. While in Safari, if you swipe right from the left of the screen, you can go back. Similarly, if you swipe left from the right of the screen, you can go forward if you've already gone back in your browsing history. If you want to switch between apps without going to the multi-app pane, you can quickly swipe left or right at the bottom of the screen to switch between your recent apps. Alternatively, if you use four fingers and swipe left across the screen or swipe right across the screen, you can also switch between recent apps as well. Similarly, if you want to close an app, you can use five fingers and pinch inwardly to close the app. Next, we'll go into multitasking. To enable split view, which is the iPad split screen functionality, what you want to do is pull up your dock. Here, if you have two apps that you want to run side by side, you can load them up in split view. What you want to do is open your first app up first. From here, you pull the dock up, and then if you hold down on the next app that you want to load up in split view, you can drag it on the iPad to the left or the right of the screen to load it up in split view. Alternatively, you can have the app run in window mode where it doesn't take up the entire screen but takes up a certain portion. From window mode, you can enable split view by using the little dragger at the top of the split view app. Here you can drag it around to a location on your screen as you choose, or you can drag it to the left or right to enable split screen mode. Once you're in split screen mode, you can use the little slider at the middle to adjust how much of the screen the app takes up. To change which side of the iPad your app is on, you can also use a little slider at the top of each given app and you can switch it from the left to the right or back to window mode. If you want to close a given app that's open up in split view, what you want to do is swipe up from the little navigation pane at the bottom of that given app. Here you can swipe up to close down the app and you're, you're left with your remaining app in full screen mode. Given the size and the resolution of the iPad screen, Split screen mode is a great and welcome addition to the gestures and functionality of the iPad as it really helps improve productivity. And so there you have it everyone, most of the gestures that you can use to navigate on your iPad Pro. If you like this kind of content or found these gestures useful, or you have other gestures that you think might be very good to add onto the list, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.